So the first one I'm gonna run is a 147 grain. That one was going 1,000 feet per second. Jacket hollow point. Just put a, just a center shot on him somewhere. So it went all the way through. Didn't make it through the cardboard, didn't make it through the dummy, but completely went through the guy. Now we're gonna do a 135 grain Hydra shock. This one was going again about a thousand feet per second. Do a little spot. I gotta save some room for the big dog rounds. Here we go. Went all the way through again. Now I'm gonna try out the John Wick 125 grain hollow point at 1425 feet per second. Major stopping power. Here we go. Did not go through the target. So everything's inside that target. Broke the bone. So it dumped all its energy inside of him. So I'm gonna do one more nine millimeter major, try to miss the bone. I don't want the bone in ribeye this time. Here we go. Let's see what it does. Oh, I got the bone again. Completely shattered that rib. It did come out the back, but it bounced off the, off the back of the cardboard. So that's a pretty badass round for dumping all its energy inside that guy with a, like a 178 power factor is pretty gnarly. 115 grain plus P plus, jack of the hollow point. See how this does. So that stayed inside there. No exit wound. Now we're gonna shoot a 124 grain plus P Going about 1,200 feet per second. See how this one does? So it did go through, but not very deep. Here we go, the last one is probably the hottest one. The 127 grain plus P plus, T series. So it went through, seems to be fairly deep. All right, we're gonna finish off this bozo with some 125 grain nine majors. So I guess I hit the right spot, right in the forehead. It didn't penetrate, so it's rattled around inside there somewhere. What a mess. Might as well finish it. Oh, no. oh. oh gross. Yeah, pull those up, though. This is the 127 grain plus P plus. It's about as hot as it gets before you go to the nine major. I'm gonna shoot on the right side where he's got a clean area through the shoulder area. It did go through, but it only went through one layer of cardboard. 115 grain plus P plus out of a Glock 19 Combat Master. <coughs> Again, shattered the rib and probably didn't go through. One more round, a nine millimeter major. Oh. Ew. So now we're gonna try a typical 55 grain full metal jacket. See what kind of penetration we get. It did go into the cardboard. I think this is great stuff for uh, home defense. 50 grain VMAX Black Hills. You can see that just the total crazy explosion. So now we're gonna try the 60 grain VMAX. It's going a little bit slower, about 2950, but a 10 grains heavier. Probably no exit also. Mm -mm. So probably stack your gun, if you're a weirdo like me, with 50 grains first, probably the first 10 maybe. The next next 10 or 15 will be the 60 grain VMAX. Then at the bottom have like your 77 grain crazy awesome, you know, Black Hills. So now we're running, now we're running one of the hottest 223s out there, probably the hottest, the big dog, the 5.56 77 grain match from Black Hills. 
See if this thing goes all the way through. Did go through, it went through everything, including all the cardboard and the rubber dummy. So I've got some Fiocchi 115 grain full metal jacket. Type of stuff most people shoot in carbines like this. They don't really run hollow points that often, but let's see how far it goes through. Do a couple of them. All right, check it it out. All the way through the target, through the, all the cardboard, hit the steel. So it just keeps going. Here is the Fiocchi Aero Slug. It's a 7 8 ounce slug at 1300 feet per second. Most accurate, softest shooting, best slugs on the planet for three gun, law enforcement, all that stuff. This thing is just a big old giant lasagna mess of filth. <laughs> Let's just see how far it goes through. Right through the center. Right in the throat. And there it is. Look at those hands. Let me see them. Got it red amber. Wow, that's amazing. What I expected, maybe thought that the light hollow points would have gone through deeper, but they didn't. So for self-defense, I don't think it's bad to use the lighter weight bullets, less chance of going through walls. But of course you got situations where a vehicle got to shoot through doors and glass, things like that. So what I do is I stack my rounds. So the first ones out of the gun by the first four or five are the lightest hollow points. They're going screaming fast. Somehow this guy is going down or whatever. I shoot a few more rounds of the heavier, the heavier, the heavier. So go from like a 115 plus P plus to 124 plus P to 127. Then if, you, if the guy's just some friggin' unstoppable ape, then you gotta just go to the 147 plus P's. But you always gotta know, your, you know what's behind the targets. It's very important. You don't wanna like shoot when there's guys around. So we had those uh, electronic guys out here moving around. It made us better at shooting, knowing there's a million no shoots in the background. So know what's behind the target. Don't just fire and wonder what's going on. It's probably gonna go through. But if you want less chance of that, go with the lighter hollow points, the plus P plus stuff. Very cool.